In this episode, hacks for cars and road trips. Now I'm sure some of you have faced this problem where you've parked your car and you've forgotten where you've parked it. And you try to use a remote to activate it, but it's out of range and it doesn't work. I'm going to show you how to increase the range of your remote. Now as you can see, my car is right over there and I'm going to unlock it from here because I am in range, so unlock that. As you can see, it unlocked, so I'm going to lock it back up again and then I'm going to walk over there, get out of range. Okay, so I think around here should be okay. Unlock my car from here. And as you can see, I'm out of range and it's not working. So I'm going to teach you a little trick. So all you have to do is put your remote control under your chin, open your mouth and push the same button. Okay, you ready? And it worked just like that. It's weird, right? So I Googled how this works. What they say is that the fluids in your head act as some kind of conductor or something like that. Okay, so this one is for all those people that have minor scratches on their car, just like this one. And as you can see, it's really hard to rub off. And I'm gonna teach you how to get rid of that. And all you need is some toothpaste, a sponge, put a little bit of toothpaste on the sponge, just like this, dip it in the water, and then you just go over to the scratch Give the scratch a little bit of a rub with the toothpaste, just like this. All right, and that should do the trick. Wash that down with some water. And as you can see, the scratch is gone. How cool is that? If you're really sick and tired of all the stuff inside the bags falling out everywhere into your car, here's a simple trick. All you need is a bungee cord. Every car should have these hooks. Hook the bungee cord in like this. Thread all your grocery bags like this. Chen and an air, and then hook the other one up like this. Done deal. Boom. Now, if you have a lot of stuff in your car, especially when you're on a road trip, here's a simple way to keep things all nice and organized. So I got this little shoe organizer from IKEA. It is very, very long, so obviously that's not going to fit in the car very well. So all you have to do is flip it up. I'm going to get my binder clips, keep it all nice and secure. All you need is some twist ties. So there you go, a nice little organizer. And then you can put your things inside here. Oh, what flavor is that? Mmm, caramel puffs. Hungry. Ta-da! Amazing, because that's what happens when you don't tie it properly. <laughs> so next time, try tying that properly. You get the idea, right? <laughs> now here's a nifty trick if you want to hang your sunglasses on your visor. Attach two large binder clips together and then you want to put it on your visor, put your sunglasses on and there you go. Voila! Now some of you may find it really difficult to find a car air freshener scent that you actually like. Well next time just get a scented candle that you like and put it in your cup holder and that should work just like an air freshener does. And it works even better on a hot day because a candle warms under the sun. If you want to bring your drink on the road and you don't have a travel mug, get some glad wrap. Put the cling wrap on like this. Wrap it really really tight so there's no creases in there. Grab your straw, poke a hole in it, and there you go, your own DIY travel mug and it doesn't spill everywhere. Alrighty. Now if you hate people leaving trash in various nooks in your car, here's a simple solution. Just grab yourself a cereal container, line it with a plastic bag, put the lid on, put your rubbish in. Because there's a lid, that's going to prevent everything from falling out and it's going to keep all your bad smells inside there, so... Booms. Try getting a cereal container that actually closes properly, maybe. Like that, there you go. You fofa. Oh. Let's just pretend it's a good container, okay? Yeah. Okay, thank you, next one. Now, if you're on a road trip and it's sweltering hot and you've got some chocolates that are melting, all you have to do is put them in your air vent like this, turn your air conditioner on, and that should prevent it from melting. Ta-da! So there's nothing worse than coming back to a sweltering hot car, right? Okay, so I'm gonna teach you a hack to cool it down in an instance. Whew, it's really hot. Turn it on so that you can wind the window down. Like this. I'm gonna close that. I'm gonna walk around to the other side. Then I'm gonna open this car door and I'm gonna use the door as a fan to blow out the hot air out of the window. Ho! Just like that, really simple. If you want to cool your car down even quicker, just put your aircon on full blast, do exactly the same thing, and it should work even faster. We've come to the end of yet another episode. You can follow me on Instagram at rjt99, and if you haven't done so already, please download the free Click Network app to watch all of our videos one month before they come out on YouTube. Thanks for watching, guys. Mwah.
knuckles near the fire with my head near your heartbeat Love you like my favorite song, make me wanna sing along That's how you make me feel That's how you make me feel That's how you make me feel That's how you make me feel